I get it. The stock market is down and all of your investments have seemingly gone down the drain. What do you do? Why not you look around and get inspired? Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Vlog of Note. In this video, we're going to be talking about three Indian origin CEOs of massive global companies, how much they make and what you can learn from them. Let's get started. So first of all, usual disclaimer here, this video isn't technically about the stock market. However, I'm still not a certified financial planner or a SEBI registered expert. If you want to make your own investments, you should do your own market research. Now CEO compensation. Here's some fun trivia for you. From 1978, CEO compensation has gone up by 1,322%. Ouch. Also, of the top 350 companies in America, their CEOs were paid on average $24 million in annual compensation. That's over 150 crores Indian rupees. Of this, 86% is usually stock-based compensation. Now, CEO compensation is primarily made up of three elements. First is salary, that's hard cash. Of a CEO making $24 million annually, about $1 million alone might be paid in hard cash. Second is bonus. Bonus is usually linked to some kind of sales targets or production targets or shareholder returns. The third element is stock-based compensation. Now, most CEOs point to this and say, look, we don't make too much money. However, consider this, currently we're in a bear market and most companies have lost 50% of their value. But CEOs were issued stock at 90% discount to their current value. So even in a bear market, they can sell it and make quite a profit. You can either choose to look at the CEO compensation and think this is a precursor to the modern French Revolution, or you can choose to get inspired by them. I choose to get inspired by these Indian origin CEOs of massive global companies. Let's jump into the video. The first CEO on my list is Revati Advaiti. Now, she is the CEO of Flex, formerly known as Flextronics. Flex is the world's third largest electronics manufacturing company and they make an annual revenue of over $25 billion and they have a market capitalization of over $6.8 billion. Revati Advaiti is a CEO and she has very humble beginnings, starting her career as a shop floor supervisor at Eaton. She makes over $11 million in annual compensation. To put that into context, that's over 80 crores Indian rupees. It's a fortune that people don't see in their entire lifetime. Now, I've gone through many hours of interviews with Revati Advaiti and one thing that I found fascinating about her that I think that you can learn from her is her decision-making process. She has a company in which over 150,000 people work and the primary concern in her decision-making process is her colleagues. And then only she thinks about customers and then only she thinks about stakeholders. In life, it is important that you think about the people that you work with first or live with first and then everyone else. The second CEO on my list is Jayashree Ullal. She is the CEO of Arista Networks. If you haven't heard of Arista Networks, it's because they're a B2B company. They provide networking solutions to companies like Microsoft and Meta platforms. Arista Networks makes over $2.9 billion in annual revenue and they have a market capitalization of nearly $30 billion. Jayashree Ullal also had very humble beginnings and she actually shared an office with the founder of this company many years back. One of the interesting things that I think you can learn from her is diversification. See, Arista Networks has a problem with Microsoft accounting for about 15% of their revenue and Meta Platforms or Facebook accounting for about 10%. Jayashree has gone ahead and diversified the company into enterprise and financial services so that in the future, her company is not so dependent on the cloud titans. In life, I think it's important that you don't put all of your eggs into one basket. 
The third CEO on my list is Shantanu Narayan. Perhaps you've heard of the company he's working for. It's called Adobe and yes, it's pronounced Adobe, not Adobe. Adobe is a creative software company which makes over $15 billion in annual revenue and has a market capitalization of $171 billion. Shantanu Narayan is from Hyderabad, India and his mother was an American literature professor, so very humble beginnings and he makes over $35 million in annual compensation. To put that into context, that's over 200 crores Indian rupees. There are mid-sized companies in India that don't make so much in annual revenue. Anyway, Shantanu Narayan is one of the world's highest rated CEOs by Glassdoor, so his employees love him. And he's also a visionary because many years back, I don't know whether you remember, Adobe used to make software that you would buy once and install on your desktop and that's about it. Shantanu Narayan actually moved them over to the cloud as a SaaS-based company with people paying every month and this was done even before the pandemic. There you have it, three Indian origin CEOs of massive global companies that you can be inspired by who make a huge amount of money and who also have something to teach you. It's important to note that none of these CEOs actually came from rich parents. They all made a staggering amount of money in their lifetimes. If you have any CEOs that you think we should cover, please drop them in the comment section down below. As always, please go over to YouTube, subscribe to the Vlog of Note channel, ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video and I will see you guys in the next episode.